Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. Now we are going to discuss the <coughs> arguments on behalf of the accused person. Right. We will start. May it please your honor. I am appearing on behalf of the accused Suresh of Karedu village, your honor. The brief facts are already, you have to reiterate the brief facts. Your honor, the case is foisted against my innocent client. So the accused, an innocent person, has become a target by the police to foist a false case against him in order to satisfy their statistical lust. Innocent person, young boy, he has got a bright future, your honor. So my first, at the outset, I want to impre I want to inform the court that it is a totally fabricated false case by the police. My client is totally innocent and he never committed any offense of this sort, Your Honor. And this is no doubt, even though the court thinks that yes, it is a murder, then it is executed in the execution of the right of private defense. Your Honor, my client is a young boy. He just wanted a lift. He requested a lift from the deceased. But what happened? The deceased took him to the ferry where he disrobed himself and he wanted to disrobe my client and he wanted to go for the unnatural sex since he was a homosexual for which my client did not agree. But because he was an elder man and because he was having money and because he was having the muscle power, he wanted to overpower my client and therefore in order to escape from his clutches. Suppose if my client is left like that, definitely he would have conducted, the deceased would have conducted sodomy and he would have injured in the back parts or some other offense would have taken place. In order to escape from him or in order to make him threaten or in order to threaten him, my client with in execution of the right of private defense, he has lifted the nearby boulder and on seeing them, he fell down on the another rock and he received head injuries and he died, Your Honor. My client did not. Even though the court presumes that my client, it is done in the execution of the right of private defense. I want to take the defense of the right of private defense. Please remember, in this case, I want to inform the court by the case law, Darshan Singh versus State of Punjab 2010, in which, please remember, the deceased was given hitting by Gandasa in that case. Gandasa means axe, Your Honor. And uh, as a result of which he fell down. Prior to that, this is important. Or prior to that, he heckled at uh, the accused. He heckled at my client. Same thing happened here. So the deceased heckled at my client, saying, "Are you not a man? Are you not potent? Don't you have? Why don't we? Can't you enjoy? Are you not a man like that?" So he heckled at him and uh, advanced uh, to my client. So with the intention of. Uh, causing the so-called sodomy. So in order to escape, my client executed the right of private defense. So basing on Darshan Singh versus State of Punjab 2010, the benefit should be given to my client, Your Honor. Later, the last seen theory, the prosecution. Oh, he said that he was found in the company of the deceased like that, Your Honor, last seen, no doubt. Both the accused and deceased were seen together and later the dead body was found in the uh, that uh, ferry. But the circumstances are not fully established. Yes, no doubt, Your Honor, the man, he was already having so much of uh, uh, the so-called homosexual affairs. Some other person, unknown person might have killed him, not my client. So, the facts are not fully established. Just simply, the police relied on the extrajudicial confession and they have made up the case against the It is not correct. So please remember, since the facts are not properly explained by the prosecution, definitely my client is actually is fit for acquittal. This was stated in Venkatation. To support this, I want to cite the case law. Venkatation versus State of Tamil Nadu 2008. And as regards witnesses, please remember, Your Honor, 
who are the panch witnesses they are quite they are uh, known to the deceased person they are and the witnesses the planted witnesses they are all related to the deceased and moreover your honor there are uh, groups in the village so they wanted to have the personal vendetta against the accused by involving him in the murder case previously they involved my client in the murder case for which they are not successful now they want to involve him in another case uh, with all these uh, cock and bull stories and uh, parrot like versions of uh, the witnesses which is not correct i want to reiterate that the witnesses are interested witnesses and they are also related witnesses their intention is to implicate my client to the crime so in this connection the evidence of the interest witness interested witness uh, need not be taken into consideration as per the famous decision in umar mahmud and others umar mahmud and others versus state of rajasthan 2008 no doubt courts will give importance to the non interested uh, witnesses but here there is no uh, the, the, all these witnesses are uh, relatives or interested persons their main intention is only to involve my client into this crime since uh, they could not uh, rely, they could not trace the original person original perpetrator who committed this offense and please remember recovery as far as the recovery is concerned i submit that the recovery is totally false your honor basically even the last the so called extra judicial confession it is totally false your honor extra judicial confession please remember uh, i want to tell the honorable court it is a very weak piece of evidence getting of cases by the supreme court were given in this connection so unless corroboration is there this extra judicial confession how this extra judicial confession has come into existence your honor my client was been picked up by the singraikonda police 15 days prior to the date of arrest and actually since maheshwar rao is known to the police they are having good terms they have he has become a tool in the hands of police your honor maheshwar rao was made to write the statement as though my client has confessed him in fact my client did not at all confess to maheshwar rao no doubt they are known to each other your honor so secondly i want to here point out your honor please find whether the signature of my client is there or not on the confession statement it is not there your honor likewise please the police say that they have recovered the gold ring from kavali okay they did not see any receipt connected to this uh, pledging of the gold article and uh, in the mazar nama also who are the mediator the mediators are all known or uh, they are stock mediators your honor they will sign on each and every Uh, media drama by the sangrai kona police they are stock mediators their evidence should not be taken into consideration because they have deposed in number of cases your honor so this is the sin then the recovery is totally false your honor false it is only put into existence to lag my accused in this case your honor please remember and please remember as regards <coughs> the recovery i want to tell you i want to inform the court in the case of satya alias satish rajamma karatla versus state of maharashtra 2008 the recovery of the clothes of the deceased and weapon are not believable as the place of recovery was accessible to all everybody can throw it is it not even volopod is located on the national highway or honor so therefore there is no point in saying that uh, the police have uh, recovered the false recovery then your honor finally i want to say that no doubt so even if the honorable court feels that he has done it so it would have been done in grave and sudden provocation section 300 your honor the man he was a homosexual he has taken my client to the uh, deserted place near the ferry and he wanted to disrobe him do all these things and at the time he has provoked him like anything so on that grave and sudden provocation my client lost his balance and he might have in a view to threaten him he might have used force on him so definitely a provision the lenience may be taken and the section may be altered to 3 not to your honor in this connection i will tell i want to put the case of vinit kumar chauhan versus state of uttar pradesh 2008 so absence of premeditation and planning yes definitely they are not at all there therefore it uh, the murder will come to culpable homicide thus 
and even the previous case no doubt your honor my client is involved as an accused in a previous case which is unless it is convicted you cannot say that uh, it is his previous conduct or they are not at all relevant your honor they want to say previously also they involved him like this so therefore an innocent person should not be sent to gallows uh, basing on the clumsy evidence this is not corroborative evidence your honor it is entirely the version of the police false case put up by the police and they have done only table investigation your honor so the signatures of the accused uh, my client were not at all taken on any paper therefore there is uh, no evidence against my client and uh, ab- basing on the above submissions uh, your honor may be pleased uh, to acquit my accused uh, my client from this case thank you your honor that's all